So what happens when the biggest player in AI makes a move that could make them, well, pretty much unbeatable? That's exactly what we're breaking down today. We're talking about NVIDIA's huge game-changing play to bring Grok into the fold and what it really means for the future of artificial intelligence. You know, to really get this story, you first have to understand just how tight NVIDIA's grip on the AI world already is. Their dominance really comes down to two things. Their legendary GPUs, they're the engines of AI training, and of course, the massive CUDA software ecosystem that basically has millions of developers locked in. And that right there, that is the billion dollar question, isn't it? Why would they do that? Because this move, it's so much more than just buying another company. It's what I'd call an architectural checkmate. All right, first things first, let's just take a second to appreciate the sheer scale of NVIDIA's empire, even before this whole deal went down. I mean, look at this. This slide really paints the whole picture. It's not just that they make the best hardware. We're talking about quarterly data center revenues hitting 51.2 times billion dollars with gross margins at a totally jaw-dropping 73.6%. NVIDIA isn't just a company. It's a financial fortress with this incredibly deep software moat. But here's the thing. Even the most powerful fortress has a weak spot, a hidden vulnerability. And for NVIDIA, that vulnerability is hiding in the next great AI battleground, inference. Okay, so it is absolutely crucial to get the difference here. Training is this massive, heavy-duty process, kind of like writing a whole encyclopedia from scratch. But inference, that's using the finished encyclopedia to look up one specific fact, instantly. And that happens billions of times a day, and it has to be lightning fast. And this quote just hits the nail on the head. It perfectly shows the one little chink in NVIDIA's armor. See, the very thing that makes their GPUs so great for the brute force work of training can actually create a speed bump, a bottleneck, when you need those real-time, instant answers from inference. And this is where our story gets interesting. This is where a challenger walks onto the scene. And they're not coming with a slightly better GPU. No, they're coming with a completely different kind of processor, one that was built from the ground up to solve that exact problem. This slide just lays it out so clearly. On the left, you've got NVIDIA's GPU, right? A parallel processing beast, perfect for training. But then, on the right, you see Grok's language processing unit, the LPU. It uses a totally different architecture. They call it deterministic streaming. Now, what does that mean in plain English? It means it's custom built to be incredibly fast and perfectly predictable, getting rid of the very bottlenecks that can trip up GPs during inference. So, if you are the undisputed king of the AI world, how do you respond to a potential disruptor who has this revolutionary idea? Well, you don't fight them, you absorb them. You do it with a staggering $20 billion investment. And let's be clear, this isn't just about taking a competitor off the board. This is a brilliant, decisive move to turn a potential threat into an absolutely unbeatable advantage. And that's the key takeaway here. NVIDIA wasn't playing defense, not at all. They were playing offense. They saw that the future of AI isn't just about training bigger and bigger models. It's about deploying them instantly and efficiently so everyone can actually use them. And this move creates the ultimate AI platform. I mean, think of it like a perfect one-two punch. Step one, you train your models on NVIDIA's world-class GPUs. Step two, you manage the whole workflow with a CUDA software that everybody already knows and uses. And then, step three, you deploy those models on Grok's LPUs for truly world-class real-time speed. It's brilliant. So what does this new, totally integrated world actually look like? Well, in a word, dominance. We're talking about total dominance across the entire AI pipeline, from the first line of code all the way to the final answer. By owning the absolute best tool for every single part of the job, NVIDIA really solidifies its journey. They're no longer just a chip maker. They're becoming what they always wanted to be, a full-stack, comprehensive computing platform company. And check this out. This move unlocks another gigantic market, Edge AI. Think about all the instant processing that has to happen in self-driving cars, in smart factory robots, in medical devices. That's a market that's projected to just explode from about $7.5 billion today to over $27 billion in less than a decade. And NVIDIA just positioned itself to own it. So if you're a rival like AMD or Intel or even one of the big cloud players like Google and Amazon building their own chips, what do you even do now? 
the entire strategy of being the faster inference alternative just got swallowed whole by the market leader itself. The bar has been raised to an almost impossibly high level. So what's the final word here? This wasn't just a simple purchase. It was a strategic masterstroke. By acquiring its perfect technological complement, NVIDIA has built the ultimate AI fortress. And now, for everyone else in the industry, the question is no longer how do we fight it, it's how do we learn to live inside its walls.